thought about these questions. Brother Jeremy uh, gave us a lot of them that are asked in the scriptures. It's a divine manner to require a response. He asked the people questions. Many times the question was rhetorical. That is, the answer was made obvious in the question. But the Lord still asked it. You know, we could, we, could, uh, we could try to explain away the need for questions by saying, well, everybody knows, and this, and this is obvious, and no one, what, no one could deny that, and all that. But after all that said, God asked questions. Jesus asked questions. And those Jesus sent, here being Paul, they asked questions. What shall we say? We might, we might say that no response is itself a response. <laughs> that is... A question or the an answer it's a response the truth demands a response and remember Jesus asked uh, uh, ask a question and nobody wanted to answer it it's about John the Baptist was his was his uh, his ministry from heaven or was it from men his, his baptism and they thought within themselves is that well we're trapped we can't we can't say from heaven we can't say from men so we're not going to say anything and that's when he looked he looked around it it, it provoked the Lord and there was another time he asked, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath day? And they wouldn't, uh, uh, they wouldn't answer. And, and he looked around about them with anger, but he, he pressed the issue with, with questions. And I, I, um, I'm glad for this kind of approach. And so the, uh, my exhortation for you this morning is going to be along these lines um, as far as the text goes in his questions. What shall we say? What shall we say then uh, to this? to these things. The book of Romans asked this type of question several times in other chapters as well. Uh, in the, the prophet Isaiah, uh, the Lord uh, said, come let us reason together. So it's not that there's just questions flying out of heaven and then, you know, see, let's see what they do with that. It's not, it's not just an observation from heaven. Let's, uh, you know, let's see what they say and ask them a question. No, the question is, uh, the Lord comes with the question. So he says, Let, let's reason together about this. That's, that's, how, we, that's how we teach our children. Uh, we're, we're, it's, it's not just a, you know, we're not just pouring out information and, and leave them to it. it it's, it's not, that's not parenting. <laughs> and so the, Lord's, he, the Lord says, all your children will be taught of God. All of God's children are taught of him. That, that's, that's essential in, in, in parenting. And the, we call God our father. We're born of him. And so he's bringing up his children with question, asking questions, and he's asked us to come reason together uh, with him. Every good teacher draws the disciple into the lesson. It bring, bring it in. Uh, it's, it, it, would, it would just be strange to just, just put, up, put up the text or write up the text on the, on the chalkboard or, or whatever, on the overhead projector, and the teacher just sit down. When you're done reading, class is over. That's not teaching. That's giving information, but we're not set free by information. <laughs> he, it's not the information that sets free, it's truth. Truth sets free, and the, Son, and the Son of God sets free. And so what is, now this is chapter 6. Brother Jeremy's text was chapter 6 of Romans. And so he's asking, what will you say to chapter 1? What will you say to chapter 2? What are you saying to three and four and, and five? So I wanted to just pick one verse out of each one. What are you saying to the, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes? What shall we say then? Amen. Do you believe that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation? What shall we say? And what it, he will render to every man according to his deeds. That's chapter two. What shall we say to that, that God's going to render to every man according to his deeds? Mm -hmm. What are you saying to that? What will you say to that? God's going to render to every man according to his deeds. And uh, chapter 3, God has set him forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins uh, that are passed through the forbearance of God. What, what are you saying to the, to the propitiation that God has set forth for sin? What's your response to that? What shall we say? That blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. I like that. That's a good, that's something good to answer. He, he is not imputing sin. In chapter uh, 5, For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life. What, these are the things he's referring to when he says, what shall we say? 
Remember in the book of Hebrews, he gets to chapter 8 and he says, now the, the sum of the things which we have said is we have such a high priest. See, he's referring back to everything he'd already said. This chapter 6 is sort of like that. What shall we say then to, to this, to all these things that have, that have been, been said? So it's not just information. A mere observation of the scriptures or a mere observation of the truth itself is kind of like those that the scripture tells us they heard the thing preached and they didn't mix it with faith. And the, what was the result of that? It didn't profit them that heard. It heard and it just, it just it flew in and it flew right back out because it wasn't mixed with faith. So there's the exhortation. Mix with faith what you hear. That's, that's, that's the response. See, the, the truth is drawing us into, uh, into the kingdom and in, into the, the Lord. Uh, Peter tells us, be always ready to give an answer for the hope that is within you. So you've got to have an answer in yourself for somebody else to ask you before you can give an answer to somebody else. You've got to be able to answer. The, give an answer to the Lord before you can give an answer for the hope that's in you for someone else. So we have to do some, do some answering with the Lord. And see, that, that is, that's going to make the best answer to, to our fellow men is when we've been answering to the Lord. Amen. We've been... been uh, uh, fellowshipping with the Lord, reasoning together with the Lord, then you'll be able to have a, a, an answer uh, to those that ask you. So the Lord has a way of, of taking us by the hand and, and leading us out of the world like he did, he, leading his people out of Egypt. But he's not, he's not just trying to get us out of something. He's leading us into something. So these questions are like a taking us by the hand and leading us uh, in, into the truth, into the light, into into the kingdom, into his ways, into the, into the divine nature. And I'm, I'm glad that the Lord works that way. But then there, there is another type of leading where he'll, he'll have to push us through a Red Sea by, by uh, the, pursuing enemies behind us too. See, the Lord, he, he works with us uh, in, in such ways that only the Lord can work uh, with people. Amen. And so I'm, I'm glad for uh, the Lord's manners being, uh, being seen in this text. And brother, brother Jeremy didn't just pose the question; he gave us the answer too, <laughs> and the, and that's that's the Lord's manner as well. So the exhortation is to uh, reason together with the Lord, and to uh, to have a response. Remember that Jesus said, "What what do men say that I am, or who do men say that I am?" He put the question to him. It's like, "What have you been hearing?" And then he didn't just leave it at that. He said, "Who do you? Who do you say that I am?" And I think as we're we're drawing. We draw close to the Lord. We're drawing close to the same one that asked those questions, and, and he's, still answer, he's still asking them today. Amen. He's still going to ask you, if you're, as we draw close, we'll hear him say, who do you say that I am? Amen. Same as he asked through Paul here, what shall we say then uh, to, to these things? So I, I exhort you to listen and to reason with the Lord uh, to, come, uh, to come to have an answer uh, to these things. So we'll open to you now. Brother Larry.